Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, economy, and development in Nigeria and around the world. The administration of President Bola Mitinubu has received knocks from Nigerians after the President's Special Advisor on Information and Strategy, Bayo Nanoga, shared an old edition of the news magazine, which he was the editor-in-chief. And the magazine carried a report that more Nigerians who are committing suicide as a result of the, uh, some of the reforms that was introduced by the Obasanjo administration in 2004. It was a very insensitive thing to do at this time when many Nigerians are suffering as a result of the government policy of fuel subsidy removal and the flotation of the Naira, which has created the worst economic situation in living memory of Nigerians. The New York Times and the Financial Times both described the economic crisis in Nigeria of a generational proportion. Bayo Onanoga, by sharing that statement, means that that, by sharing that story, means that it has the endorsement of the presidency. After all, he is the spokesperson of the president. Many Nigerians who commented on that his post are really angry because they, they, they are at loss of what they want to achieve by that propagandist uh, display. Are they saying that Nigerians were better off now than under Obasanjo's uh, 20, 2004 reform? Are they saying that people are not committing suicide now like did during the time of Obasanjo? And who, how are we to believe their story? knowing what the news represented at that time. The news was an anti obasanjo newspaper. That newspaper had always been a pro Tinubu newspaper, magazine. So, and uh, we know the challenges that Tinubu had with Obasanjo's administration. So how are we to believe that story? And where did the news, what capacity? We were reading the news at that, those bro. What can, how many correspondents not even the news have around the country to be able to do a kind of report to show that more Nigerians were committing suicide under under Obasanjo that more Nigerians were committing suicide as a result of the uh, this economic situation caused by. Uh, uh, the economic reform by Obasanjo. The news does not have that capacity to be able. This was just uh, a Lagos-based media organization that don't have correspondence nationwide to have the capacity to even do that kind of report. To be able to know the number of those committing suicide. If he had been that they gave that report and said that and cited an authority, perhaps that a World Bank report, a United Nations Development Program report, a World Health Organization report, or something would have made a lot of sense. But in any case, things were not as bad as it is today. If it were, I do not think that the New York Times and the Financial Times of London would describe the economic crisis we are facing in Nigeria today as a problem of generational proportion, a crisis of generational proportion. You cannot take it away from former President Obasanjo that he superintended an unprecedented reform that changed this country. He it was that inherited baggage from the military and turned the economy around. He led the charge with the support of uh, Ngozi Okonjo Iwala 
the then Minister of Finance, they were able to work out a strategy to exit the debt, debt trap. We were extricated from debt, debt trap. And many of our debts, because of the sincerity of the reform that he did, a lot of our, our debts were cancelled. But now nobody's ready to cancel our debt under the so-called reform by President uh, Bola Metinu. No country, no serious country is ready to cancel anything for Nigeria. In fact, we are in, going back again to the debt trap that Obasanjo extricated us from by the borrowing bazaar of the APC administration from former President Buhari to now President Bola Metinu. So there is nothing to compare Obasanjo's administration with this administration. Obasanjo's administration, Obasanjo has clarity of purpose of what he wants to do with Nigeria, and he pursued it. It was Obasanjo that gave us the two anti-corruption agencies that is really doing a lot. It was Obasanjo that gave us the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. It was Obasanjo that gave us the uh, Independent Corrupt Prices and uh, Other Related Offenses Commission, which is uh, ICPC. So Obasanjo did a lot. He ushered in a Nigeria that can be able to achieve a lot. If the trajectory of Obasanjo was continued, Nigeria would have been a different thing altogether. Look at the refinery that he, he, he marked to be sold out, perhaps to, to, was to be sold out to people like Dangote and uh, Otedola and Co. If those people had bought it, maybe Dangote wouldn't have any need to build no, no refinery. Perhaps we would have rehabilitated all those ones. But Obasanjo, didn't, Obasanjo wanted to, to privatize and sell it off. They stopped him. Uh, when uh, Bejaradua entered, he reversed the situation. And today, look at where we are. A moribund uh, refineries that, that are just consuming billions of dollars annually. Payment of salaries, to workers that don't that don't refine any oil, and then all, all kinds of turnaround maintenance that never materialize. So Basanjo was far clear sighted of what Nigeria was was to be or is to be, and he walked towards it. Unlike what we are having now. What we are having now is just a situation where the government of the day can just announce any policy, whether they implement it or not, they don't even care. That was how um, some months ago they said they are going to crash the prices of goods and services. They, they gave traders a month to crash the prices of goods. Have they done it up to today? They say they have removed. Uh, all kinds of tariffs on uh, imported uh, food like rice and what have you up to this today something that they say will kick off from august october is about to finish have they done anything about it what kind of thing how can you even compare apple with orange comparing our passenger administration with the new administration how do you compare apple and orange that's what uh, Bayon and Oga and the uh, Tinubu presidency want to do by comparing themselves or the situation of Nigerians under Obasanjo and the situation of Nigerians today. In fact, I like the, the kind of response he gave. The people showed him, they showed him pictures of people scrambling for bread in Lagos. This is not a uh, this is not a question of Alamajiris looking for food to eat or rushing to collect uh, uh, food. These are elderly men and women, all kinds of people in Lagos, 
of all places, scrambling for to have bread because they don't they have no food. And they challenged by Onanoga to bring out any picture of that kind that happened in 2004 on Dr. Where elderly men, women, children were scrambling for, for bread because somebody wanted to give out bread because of the hunger and starvation caused by the poor management of the economy under the President Bonham Tinubu administration. I don't know what you think about this, but uh, do you agree that kind of comparison that people were committing suicide under the Basanja administration? Uh, does that mean that the, uh, until people begin to commit suicide, the government will not know that Nigerians are suffering or what? What, what, what message are they trying to pass by telling us that People were committing suicide under Basanja administration. What are they? What are they saying? Are they saying that until people they begin to get information that people are committing suicide, they will not do anything to ameliorate the suffering of Nigerian people? What is your position on this? Let's hear from you at the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. And if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel, hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.